where truth finds refuge. At a remote coastal inn on Vancouver Island, a reclusive writer and a hardened reporter are about to embark on a journey that will challenge everything they thought they knew. Evelyn Wong, a celebrated novelist, has spent the last decade away from the spotlight, quietly running Harbor Haven, a secluded retreat where women can come to escape the pressures of society and explore their identities in peace. For years, Evelyn balanced her fame with the weight of secrecy, hiding her true self from the public eye. Now, her and provides solace to those who aren't ready to live openly. Women who crave a space where they can be themselves without fear of judgment or exposure. But when hard-hitting journalist Sarah Quinn, notorious for uncovering hidden lives, hears rumors about the exclusive inn, she's determined to get the inside scoop. She arrives under the pretense of a retreat, but has every intention of turning Evelyn's refuge into the next big story. Evelyn, sensing Sarah's true motives, doesn't shy away. Instead, she invites Sarah to stay and challenges her to look beyond the surface. What begins as a confrontation turns into an unexpected exploration of trust, truth, and vulnerability. As the days pass, Sarah finds herself drawn to the women at the retreat, realizing they're not hiding but healing. Meanwhile, Evelyn slowly lets her guard down, sensing that Sarah may not be as hardened as she seems. In the misty mornings by the sea and quiet conversations over coffee, the two women find common ground. Sarah, who once sought to expose secrets, begins to question her own. And Evelyn, who created a place for others to be their true selves, wonders if she's ready to confront her own fears. At Harbor Haven, where the sea meets the sky, two women from different worlds discover that sometimes the most powerful story isn't the one you write, but the one you live. Let me know if you'd like any changes or further adjustments. As the ferry docked at the small harbor on Vancouver Island, Sarah Quinn stepped off, her phone in hand, already taking notes. She scanned the horizon, the rolling mist wrapping the towering pines like a blanket, the inn nestled quietly on the cliffs above. To anyone else, Harbor Haven might seem like an ordinary retreat, a rustic getaway from the busyness of life. But Sarah had a different view. She saw a story, perhaps even a scandal, hidden beneath its calm surface. Evelyn Wong, the reclusive author, had built this place with purpose, and Sarah was determined to find out what that purpose was. A few hours later, Sarah was seated in the sun-drenched lobby of Harbor Haven. The high ceilings and expansive windows brought in the cool ocean air, and soft murmurs of conversation floated from women relaxing by the fire. Evelyn Wong appeared from around a corner, her presence quiet but commanding. She was older than the last time Sarah had seen her in public, more grounded, more at ease, but there was still an aura of mystery surrounding her. Evelyn walked directly to Sarah, holding out her hand. Sarah Quinn. Evelyn greeted her with a knowing smile. Welcome to Harbor Haven. Thank you, Sarah replied, shaking her hand, her investigative instincts still buzzing. It's peaceful here. Peaceful is what we offer, Evelyn said, her gaze piercing, as if she knew exactly why Sarah was really there. After a short exchange, Evelyn led her to her room, a cozy space with a view of the ocean stretching out beyond the cliffs. The smell of cedarwood lingered in the air, and Sarah could hear the faint sound of waves crashing in the distance. It was tranquil, yes, but Sarah wasn't here to relax. She had questions to ask and secrets to uncover. Over the next few days, Sarah mingled with the guests careful not to reveal her true intentions. Many of the women were successful, influential in their own right. Entrepreneurs, artists, executives. Yet all had come to Harbor Haven for the same reason. To escape the expectations placed upon them. Each had their own story. 
their own struggles with identity, and each found comfort in the anonymity of the retreat. One evening, as the sun dipped into the ocean, Sarah joined a small group by the bonfire. The air was thick with warmth, and the women shared quiet conversations. Evelyn sat nearby, her eyes studying the flames lost in thought. Sarah saw an opportunity and seized it. Why here? Sarah asked, her voice low but direct. Why did you choose to build this place? Evelyn looked up slowly, her face bathed in the orange glow of the fire. For a moment, Sarah thought she might ignore the question, but then Evelyn spoke. This place isn't just a retreat. It's a refuge, Evelyn said softly. When I was younger, I didn't have a place like this, a place where I could be myself without fear. So I created one for others. Women come here not just to hide, but to heal. Some are escaping the pressure of public life. Others, like me, have spent years living a lie. Sarah tilted her head, intrigued. And you? What are you escaping? Evelyn paused, her gaze steady. I'm not running from anything anymore. I've made peace with who I am. But there was a time when being myself would have meant losing everything. My career, my reputation, even the respect of people I cared about. This sin is for those who aren't ready to face the world, but who also deserve a space to feel free, even if only for a little while. Sarah took in Evelyn's words, her skepticism softening. Maybe this wasn't just a place for hiding. Maybe there was something more to Harbor Haven than she had imagined. Still, she needed to know more. And the rumors? Sarah pressed. People say this place is exclusive to queer women. Evelyn smiled faintly, unbothered by the directness of the question. It's true, but not because we exclude others. Because many of the women who come here need a space where they can feel safe, where they aren't defined by labels or scrutinized for who they love. Sarah fell silent, the weight of Evelyn's words settling over her. This wasn't the story she had expected to find. The women here weren't hiding. They were seeking a moment of peace in a world that didn't always offer it. Days passed, and Sarah's notebook slowly began to fill. But it wasn't with the scandalous expose she had initially planned. Instead, she found herself jotting down the stories of the women she met, their laughter and quiet moments by the ocean. She wrote about the way the waves seemed to soothe them, how they gathered in the evenings to talk, unburdened by the outside world. For the first time in her career, Sarah wasn't sure if she could publish the story she'd come to write. One afternoon, Evelyn invited Sarah on a hike along the cliffs, the trail winding through towering trees, before opening to a breathtaking view of the ocean. The wind whipped at their hair as they stood in silence, gazing at the endless horizon. You're different from the reporters I've met before, Evelyn said, breaking the quiet. Sarah looked over, surprised. How so? You came here with a purpose. But you stayed with an open heart, Evelyn replied. That's rare. Sarah didn't know how to respond. She had spent so long chasing stories, prying into the lives of others, that she had forgotten what it felt like to simply be present. I'm not sure what to do with this, Sarah admitted, her voice soft. I came here to write a piece that would expose this place. But now... I'm not sure if that's what the world needs to see. Evelyn smiled knowingly. Maybe it's not about exposing secrets, Sarah. Maybe it's about understanding them. As her stay at Harbor Haven came to an end, Sarah found herself torn between two paths. The journalist who had always been driven to uncover the truth, and the woman who had seen the value in preserving it. She met Evelyn one last time in the inn's library the two of them standing amidst shelves filled with stories of women who had once faced their own struggles. You don't have to write the story, Evelyn said quietly. But if you do, write the truth, not just the facts. Sarah nodded, knowing Evelyn was right. 
The story wasn't about a hidden inn for queer women. It was about a place where people could come to heal, to find themselves, and to leave a little lighter than they had arrived. As she boarded the ferry back to the mainland, Sarah looked back at Harbor Haven one last time, the mist curling around the trees. She knew she had come seeking secrets, but what she had found was something far more valuable, a quiet truth, waiting to be told in its own time. In the end, Sarah did write her story, but it wasn't the sensational headline she had once envisioned. Instead, it was a thoughtful piece about a place where women could breathe freely, unburdened by the weight of the world. And as for Evelyn Wong, she remained as she always had been, quiet, strong, and unafraid of the truth. Where truth finds refuge was a story not about hiding, but about the courage to be seen when the world was ready to look.